All right, guys, Mo here, and today we're going to be talking about the best class setups that I have found so far in Call of Duty Warzone Season 1. So to jump right into it, there's been 32 new weapons added to Warzone, and it's no surprise, and you guys know for a fact, that a lot of the new weapons that they've added are not very good. In this video, I will be showing you guys the weapons that I personally think stand out from the rest and are actually really viable in Warzone. So here is my very first class setup. We have the Kilo 141. Here's the attachments. Standard Kilo that everybody runs. Monolith Expressor, 19-inch Prowler Barrel. Commando Foregrip, 50 round mag, and 3 times optic. Or any optic that you guys want. For the secondary weapon, here is the brand new Mac 10. I have the infantry compensator and the foregrip to really iron out that recoil. This gun has a lot of recoil. These two attachments make that recoil so much easier to control. We have the reinforced heavy for effective damage range as well as muzzle velocity. 43 round speed mag and the grey 5 milliwatt laser Sorry for that hit fire accuracy. For perks, EOD, Overkill, of course, and as well as Amped with Claymore Heartbeat Sensor. Claymore Heartbeat Sensor is what I run on pretty much everything, so we're not really going to be going over that uh, very much. So my next class setup is the exact same as the previous one, but obviously we have the RNA new shotgun. Here it is. Choke, Forge Tech Sentry, 5 mil Wild Laser, Dragon's Breath, and Stippled. I heard that these weapons were getting a nerf. I don't know when. They probably already are nerfed. I don't know. But yeah. Uh, it wouldn't be a best class setup video without talking about this this weapon because everybody knows this gun is absolute cancer um, and it's just the best weapon close quarters as of as of now. On to my Carnini AK class. This is going to be a bit of a different one. My Carnini AK, monolithic suppressor, 27 inch barrel, tack laser, sniper scope as well as the Sportcom stock. I also have a reticle as this one. This is the best reticle in my personal opinion. For the secondary, surprisingly, we actually have the Bullfrog. Now, a Bullfrog, to me, is a little bit of a mix between the MP5 in Modern Warfare. And it's kind of like the MP7 as well, because it's kind of like a laser beam. On this class, we have the Sound Suppressor, we have the Reinforced Barrel, we have the Spatsnaz Grip, 65 round speed mag, and as well as the Spatsnaz Field Grip. Uh, this thing is perfect, absolutely perfect for a sniper class. Moving on to the Tried and True Kilo class setup. Everybody has a Kilo MP5. Here we go. We've already talked about the Kilo. You guys know what it is. Go back and screenshot it. Here's my MP5. Monolithic Integral Suppressor, Merc Foregrip, 45 round mag, Sleight of Hand, and Collapsible Stock. This thing is amazing. I have murdered so many people in Verdansk with this weapon. I think you guys should really give it a go. So here we've got two Ghost classes. Here is my Kilo class. Basically the same, only we have a secondary RPG and Ghost as the second perk. And as well as my other ghost class, here is an MP5, exact same, RPG is a secondary, ghost is a second perk. Here is my sniper loadout, this is my brand new sniper loadout, we have MAC-10, which you already seen in my previous class, we'll go over it again, infantry compensator, uh, under bar we have the foregrip, 30 round speed mag, reinforced heavy, barrel, and the grey 5 milliwatt laser. On the HDR, we have the Monolithic Suppressor, Biggest Barrel, Tack Laser, Champiano, Stock, and of course, fully loaded, because we don't want to worry about having no sniper ammo, do we? So yeah, that's basically all uh, my classes for this season. I know we've seen a few weird ones, like the Bullfrog. Um, the Bullfrog, I think, is absolutely like amazing it's so underrated and nobody like nobody talks about it i think this thing is amazing and these are the class setups that i have been running uh i kind of wanted to just clean up all my class setups and uh when i was at that I, I made a bunch of new classes and i just wanted to make a video on it because a lot of the new black black ops weapons are not very good and i know people want to run them because they're new but if you're trying to be as competitive as possible, they're not that great, if I'm honest. And I think that these classes are definitely the seven classes that you must have if you want to be as competitive as possible. Anyway, it's been me, Mo. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And I'll see you later. Peace. 
All right, guys, so before we actually fully end the video, I'm just going to throw this on to the end of the video because I wasn't actually planning on recording this. But uh, if you guys seen my stream yesterday, I actually bumped my sensitivity up. And I think I may as well throw my sensitivity on my settings in this video um, because maybe you guys are interested. I don't know. Maybe you guys are looking for some new settings and you guys maybe want to try my settings and see if they work for you obviously sensitivity and whatnot is all personal preference and it may not work for you but i'm going to show you my settings anyway so here we go i play on the tactical button layout uh, my dead zone is 0.7 i run 20 20 sensitivity i run 0.8 ads for high zone high zoom on both low zoom dynamic aim curve because if you're playing on a high sensitivity you're going to dynamic aim curve basically that you make those really small adjustments uh, at a higher sensitivity super useful if you're playing it on anything above a six i guarantee um you'll really enjoy this dynamic game curve aim assist uh i keep i keep mine on standard i think precision and the other uh one for me personally uh just are very wonky and weird i don't like them um not that's not to say that they don't work for you but they definitely don't work for me and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, my other settings are pretty much pointless. Uh, if you're looking for a new set, if you're looking for set settings, these are the main settings that you want to look for. And I'm not going to sit here and waste all your time showing you my fucking brightness settings. Okay, so anyway, yeah, it's Mimimo. And here is the actual end of the video. Peace.